Hi, welcome. We are back on Arcalon XP. I promised to record everything that's done on this Arcalon XP, but I forgot to tell you that I've updated already. I did not do a, did not have to do a scale since there were no Arcalon X stuff that were in ETC scale. And I did as well an SKI SPKS YUA as update as well, which brought me in PAMAC AOR. So that said, um, that's what I did and we're going to finally start and it's intentional, believe me, I've not themed it anyway. So we have a 30 videos or so with the standard theme, the standard breeze icons and um, it looks lovely the way it is. I thought, hey, this Sapphire icon theme, we've seen it on XFCE, we've installed it. We've tried it first via, via EA, install it, installed it, then we figured out there were some icons missing and then I gave you the knowledge to change that with the inheritance line in the index team. And then I continued to think about it and said maybe we should uh, give more knowledge about how you make a package so the package build is changed. And we've added three lines, these three lines up here or down here, the blue ones, whoa, that's too much, so these three were added to the package build and what we're saying is if you find this line replace it with that line inside index team that's what we're saying so i am now on plasma and this is the video about it so i'm wondering how will this icon team actually look on plasma so i'm gonna copy paste this here copy i'm gonna build it because this package build uh, will contain all the missing Arco Linux icons, if any, right? So you have a uh, file manager, you go to your desktop. It's where I work and where I throw everything away later or put it on Dropbox or anywhere safe. So text file, package build. That's the name you should give it, nothing else, all capital letters. Control V, save. And things will change in the future. So this is created at this particular moment in time. The versions will go up, the checksums will change, maybe uh, more things will change. So you need to be inventive and check what changed. Melt is the application to do that. Then you go to actions, open terminal here, to make package. And that's what it, this uh, thing does, it makes your package but you need to have a package build and all in capital letters so what it did was create not exactly the Sapphire icon theme but a variant of it it has now because of the package build changed a few lines in here you'll see that it says now surfen numix circle breeze gnome high color so if the icon is not there Sapphire does not have the icon. You look at the surfen. If it's there, it'll show it. If it's not there, it'll take a look at Numic Circle and so on and so on and so on. Right? So hopefully we have an icon at the end of this long search, this inheritance line. So basically, um, that's that. If you want to keep things for later, I suggest you keep these two guys. So these two guys, we've done a tutorial now so we're gonna cut it here and put it on our Dropbox we have a specific Dropbox we created it oh it's already sorry I all I just launched it I just want to open of course my Dropbox not launch it it was already launched and this has also Safari so not the last time we've already put it there so that's fine so it's gonna be exactly the same thing there just to be sure let's see yeah okay so that's okay so now the time is there to just say let's change what you need to know about icons and themes is that and that's a little bit frustrating for an icon builder as myself that if you change your icons in system settings here that you can have issues in the sense that when you select an icon theme it often happens that icons stay the same, that the icons 
Some of them are okay and some of them are still the old icon set you chose and so on. So it's the best thing is just, yeah, I know, reboot, right? Or log out, log in as a minor um, exercise, but you should do something. Now, Surfen is here, but Sapphire should be somewhere down there. So we still need to install it, <laughs> discard. So back to my Drawbox. Totally forgot to install it. So Drawbox Sapphire, double click. Why not double click? We've done pseudo Pacman minus U, remember, in the other tutorial. So that's fine. It's now installed. Let's wait and see if system settings says, hey, yeah, have a new icon steam. I can scroll the way down, Sapphire, and then you see apply. Now this apply, as you see, nothing is applied. Everything stays here the same. Close the program, close the application. This has changed already, good. Then you go on and you say, okay, some of them look a bit bizarre, but hey, that's because it's never probably intended to be installed on Plasma anyway, you know. Computer, this is still Plasma, Plasma, these are new guys. History, blank, yeah. Things that are looking like that, leave, all right. So, like I said, um, of course I can't uh, log out and log back in, I am uh, filming this, but check it out. I'm gonna make a nice uh, picture of it, but once you reboot, you'll have more and other uh, icons available from Sapphire. All right, enjoy.